Yo, 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 everybody. Generic B here, and welcome back to another Hermit Goes Mobile. This time we're looking at the Battle of Polytopia. So this video is sponsored by the fine folks of the Battle of Polytopia, and if you want to get this game, you can grab it absolutely free. It's available for Android and iOS devices. All you gotta do is click on the sponsored links in the description below from your device, and it will automatically take you to the appropriate download page. So what is the Battle of Polytopia? It is a really, actually a really cool, really deep 4X game. So the 4X stands for Explore, Expand, Exploit, and Exterminate. So you are a tribe and you're, you have to go and, and uh, scout out new areas, take over villages, defeat your enemies, and all the while you try to uh, upgrade your towns and your people and stuff like that. It's a really cool game. Um, this thing got third place in the Google Play Indie Games Contest in Europe. So it's a really well-made game. Let's go ahead and get into it. There's two options for this. You can uh, have a, your standard classic 30 turn game to see how far you can get. Or there's Domination. You play until there's only one tribe left, no time limit. And that's what we're going to do. So, bakoop. You can pick your tribe. And <clears throat> as you can see, there's like four tribes up on the top that I've been playing. I've put quite, quite a bit of time in this game. Plus, there is a new uh, a new recent update that adds some more units and, and things. And I'll hopefully show you some of that today. Um, and then there's some kind of bonus tribes that if you want to unlock those, it's like, I think it's like 99 cents. 99 pence or euros or whatever it is, right? So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to pick one. I like barter because they start off with the hunting tech, which is a pretty good tech to have. So I'm gonna hit a, a pick. Um, you can go and set your difficulties and things like that. I am going to, right now, set it to, I'll set it to normal and just have one opponent just because of uh, the length of these games can sometimes get kind of long. And so we're gonna do this all in one episode, but you can have like two or three different uh did it say even four opponents i think three okay so here's how it goes i've been chosen to rule the barter tribe <clears throat> excuse me if my, my my throat i just got back from london a little bit of traveling i get the i get the crud every once in a while so i've got a little crud in my throat today uh <clears throat> you've been chosen to rule the barter tribe explore the world and expand your empire all right so you start off and here's just your little old dude right and yes, I know. So you can select your dude and you can move him around and that's how you explore new new places. So I'm thinking I'm gonna move him over kind of this way uh, because I'm hoping all this stuff that looks like clouds, that's like your fog of war, you don't know what's going on over there. Um, and, and so you just slowly move your guy around until you unlock more spaces. You'll find some villages, some unclaimed villages that you can turn over into yours, etc., etc. But You'll notice up on the top, it says we have five stars, and that's kind of like our currency for every uh, every turn. And right now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my hunting, because I have hunting built in as a perk for this uh, for this tribe. And what you do is you just click on that little guy. It, in, it produces one population for Butov, which is the village that I'm in. Boom. And you see, that that little, uh, that little indicator underneath Butov has one little blue thing now. And so that means I've got one extra population. One out of two. If I fill it up one more time, bonk, now my village upgrades, I'm a level, uh, I've upgraded to level two, and I have a choice between uh, my rewards. I can either add one star to my workshop, which is one more star for every turn, or I can use Explorer, which will go through and open up different types of uh, uh, areas for me. I'm gonna hit the workshop because I wanna have more currency as I play. And then that is it for me because if I try to create a guy that takes two stars, can't do it, so I end my turn. But I'm, okay, and then somewhere, it's my turn again because somewhere off in the distance, the other tribe has done their move already. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna move dude. And you can see it's kind of opened up some stuff. It looks like there's not much over there, that is fine. 
I'm going to click on that guy. Uh, and let's go ahead and get one more guy. And we're going to get that hunting. Now you see, because the, uh, because the city is bigger, now I need three more population in order to do that. All right, so, but we're gonna go. And it's really helpful to boost your, your villages up so you can get more and more stars as time goes on. I'm gonna move this guy over here because it looks like there's some kind of ruins over there and I really wanna check that out. Meanwhile, this guy's gonna go over here. Aha, there's a village. So the next turn, I can move that guy over. <clears throat> okay, so. I could build another dude, but I'm gonna look at the tech tree here for a minute. Now this is where you spend your, uh, you, you spend your points on improving what you can do. So we could we could build get a rider, who's kind of like a, a kind of like a mounted unit, so he can move further and faster. Organization is you can like uh, harvest plants for uh, for population and stuff. I want to I want to wait for the forestry and I need one more point for that. So I'm going to end my turn. Okay, now it's my turn again. I have enough for it. Boom, I'm going to go pick forestry and what that does is you can hold down these little guys. Hello? Clear a forest produces two stars or a lumber hut produces one population. Okay, so Interesting. I'm going to research it. And I did that because I have a lot of forests around me. So I can click on these little guys, Lumber Hut, and that added one more. I'm pretty much out of my uh, my stars for doing creating more things, but I gotta move my guys. So I'm gonna move him over to this little uh, ruins. And I'm gonna move this guy over to there. That is a very nice move for me. Hit the next turn. Okay, we still haven't seen the enemy. The enemy is somewhere in the fog of war and we don't know where they are. But, check this. Now, I will examine the, the ruins. Ah, we found old scrolls of wisdom. Archery, we've discovered free archery out of that. Sweet! And then, we take this guy. Bam! Bam, I say unto you. So now we have two villages going on and for every turn we get five stars which is great i'm gonna look really quick my personal favorite thing i like to do is pass forest forestry there's mathematics and that gives you a uh a catapult which is amaze balls uh but what i'm gonna do is i'm going to do lumber hut i'm gonna go ahead and spend my ha hello so now we're upgraded to level three and we have a choice between a city wall or resources because we're playing on normal mode. They don't really attack that hard. So I'm gonna hit resources. Gives us some more stuff. Let's go ahead and whoop, use that. Come on, baby. And oh, one more. Okay, life is pretty good. That's everything we can do right now. Oh, I could get one more guy. I'm gonna pick an archer because we have a free archer. And off we go. It's my time again. All right, I am. I might as well take this guy, move it over there, see if there's anything else. I'm gonna start moving this guy out that way and this guy out. Aha, oh, another village. Now you'll notice the land has changed. It's green over there. So there's some potential that I'm gonna run into some other guys. Ho, 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 all right, so. Let's look at our tech tree. Still need 10 mathematics for that stuff, so I'm not going to do anything at this moment. I am going to just hit next turn. Okay, good. This guy. Okay, we're entering the village. We'll capture that on the next one. This is very nice for us. Uh, let's move this guy down here. Okay, it kind of looks like we're in a no man's land over there, so that is fine. Um, I've got the tech tree. I'm gonna hit the mathematics, hit research on that. Now what that also did <clears throat> was that gave us the ability, um, let me just double check something right here. Lumber hut, I already have a lumber hut, okay. What this will do is this give us, gives us the ability for a sawmill, which will produce one population for every nearby lumber hut. So that should help us out quite a bit once we get to our next turn. But I'm gonna move this guy over here. Uh-huh. Now you notice, 
there's stuff like uh, little bears out in the woods and stuff, but I can't capture those yet because they're not within the boundaries of my cities. You can only do whatever's within the boundaries of your cities. Okay, so I think I'm good there. Okay. So far, we have not met the enemy. I'm okay with that. All right, and we have another, a third. I'm gonna move this. Oh, I'm gonna move this guy right there. Oh, they bow in awe of your mighty civilization. Eh, hey. Okay, I'm afraid of that guy. I'm not gonna attack him quite yet. Um, let's move this broham over there for the moment. All right. Let's look at our tech tree. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go up for riders. And the reason for that is because I know that the riders uh, have a have a pretty good um, a pretty good perk afterwards where you can get rows and connect all your things together. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna move. Okay, I can fight that guy. Okay. Ooh, it was not very good. Not a smart move on my part, but that's okay. All right, let's see what you do. He's gonna try to get me. Oh, oh, dead man. I'm a dead man. Aha, but you see how there's now a blue, uh, a blue area over there, a blue border. That's where their city is. We need to crush, kill, and destroy while we still can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this guy over here. Uh-huh. Oddly enough, I don't have... Let's see, how many... Oh, and a catapult is eight. Boom. <laughs> oh, you guys are ruined. Ruined, I say. Catapults are borderline OP in this game. My my opinion. Um, We're going to move that guy over there. And I've done everything I can. Where y'all going to try to get to? Okay, they're moving around. All right, all right, all right. Um... Let's look at our tech tree. Yeah, roads are 10, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on spending any of my stuff for the moment. I'm gonna move this guy over here. We're going to kill that dude, just cause we can. And now I'm going to move this guy in to see what we've got. Aha, so there is their town. My guess, by looking at the map, I bet that this is the only town that they've built yet. <laughs> cause I think we really expanded kinda quick. So let's see, um, tech tree, no, we're still good. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, where did you come from? Okay, my boy needs help. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, wait, can I get that? Yes, I can, okay, I'm gonna go boom, boom. Okay, this guy, attack. Ooh, that was a good hit. And I'm going to use my tech tree. I'm gonna build some roads, research the old roads. And then check this business out. I can sit there, build a road. Uh huh. Build a road. Uh huh. Oh, can't do it yet. I need more stars. Ooh, and I still have to build my my uh, my sawmill. Oh, we're gonna do that in the next next turn. Okay. Ooh, you thought you thought you was gonna be somebody. All right, this guy's gonna kill him. And now I'm on top of that city. So I have real potential that it's going to uh, really wreck his face on the next turn. This may be the end of the game on the next turn if no one tries to kill me. Um, but I'm gonna go tech tree. No, 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 no. I'm gonna use right here. I'm gonna build my sawmill. So now that upgrades me to level six. Border growth. So now I can do a bunch more stuff on here. See, I can grab all these. Here, I'm gonna move that guy right there. Uh, because I have so many more trees and stuff, I can take it and start making like lumber huts. Uh, but instead, I'm gonna try to build a road here. Boom. And so that increases for both things that you see, right? And I'm going to give that guy a what for? Oh, you don't even know. All right, that's gonna be good for me for this one. Let's hit the next turn. Oh, I'm taking it over. He couldn't get to me in time. Capture? We've destroyed Imperius. Do, 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 do. <laughs> We've destroyed all the opposing tribes and have unified the entire square under your command. So that's, we beat the game, but keep in mind I was playing it on a smaller map uh, with just one other opponent. It gets way more complicated when you add more opponents. 
This thing has got, just to kind of give you an idea, <clears throat> under fishing, you can capture fish, you can uh, have whales, uh, you know, like grab whales, you can build ports and have ships. So like, for example, you could put like, a, you know, right off of Butov, I could put a, uh, a port, put my guys on the ships and run them over across the sea so they can reach other people. There's, uh, there's a under the climbing aspect of things that would make it to where they can climb over mountains, but it also, you can then add mines to the mountains and start digging out ore. And uh, then you can set up these, these dudes that are, I think they're called mine benders, which are new units to the game. And you can actually, instead of just defeating other units, you can turn them into enemy units or turn them in enemy units into friendly units. So it's a really cool kind of change to the game. But, fellas, that's going to do it for me for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Again, if you want to grab this game for yourself, it's available for free on Android and iOS devices. All you got to do is click on the sponsor links in the description below from your device, and it automatically takes you to the appropriate download page. But that's doing it for me. Until next time, take care. Brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Peace. Brush your hair.